Alan's here. He's got terrible toothache. We've been to the dentist today. He's taking you for the pictures because we can't, we can't believe what's going on. Hello, what's your number? What's your number? Fucking. Who the hell this time? Somebody said them again. Yeah, that's a guy. Yeah. Fucking kind. They won't tell me what their numbers are. <laughs> Fucking cunt. And it's the uh, 28th of June, 10 to 9. They just come here to piss me off. Fucking cunt. Fucking time. Yeah. It's you that's sick. Kent Police, South Yorkshire Police, County Bay Police, Dover Police, the Council, everyone that's going now. Bastards. All the time. Yeah. What the fuck is that happening for? You bastard! Ah, uh, <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what I'm Mum? Yes, I'm trying to see if there's anybody here. Oh, I didn't know you were downstairs. I've been trying to see if there's anybody here. What do you mean? Oh, in the pump? Yeah. To see who's looking, to see what they wanted. <sighs> is, is it too long? You've got to tell people what's happening to us if you can. I know it's hard for you. Is there anything you can say about the Please turn it up again, if you want to. Well, some bastard has decided again to get the police. They're too cowardly to let us know who they are. The police won't let us know who they are. The police are using thousands of pounds worth of your council money to keep coming knocking on our door. It's not police we want. We want the people that are supposed to be giving us our services to give us our services. Not the police. Yeah. There's yeah. supposed to be less police. They're all coming to my door. The rotten bastards. Thank you. I'm just going to do a thing on the front door. No, take anything wrong. This one's really bad. Front door of my mum's house. See that? But then as well, they caused it. Yeah, see? See, look, 31st of the 5th, now Mum has a care unlawfully stopped. We've been set up. Please talk to my Mum. This is the, the 99 call that South Yorkshire Police um, covered up. See that? That's the claim form. Oh yeah, they just really assisted. Sheffield Town Court broke every law going. I'll show you the front of my house. Yeah, we're being set up by bloody Dolph and Margaret. Here's a quick. Verbal Mark Connor. Yeah. And then look at my front. See that? Ah, oh, they're trying. They've been trying to take it off. So, someone's been trying to do something. It's still there. It's like, uh, they're trying to turn around what's happening to us. It's you lot that's sick. Uh, 
It's a joke, isn't it? It's no joke. It's a horrible existence they're putting it through. Oh, it's true, I have so much hatred. Yeah? I was working for Don Captain Nissan. I was so good. Diagnosed with Lyme dyspraxia in 2010, but sacked. Uh, yeah? Derek and Margaret have been trying to ride us up all day. What they've started doing is done a lot of banging on the walls loads of washing up and everything every single day and then in the afternoon if the police go and see them or the social workers it's like they've already rounded me up or they've goaded me so my mum had to put a fence up so that we can ignore them can you see that fence? yeah um oh please what's that noise? noise oh strange um, before I finish, is there anything you want to tell them once and for all or anything? Please, they, they think I'm hurting you, Mum. Yeah. I'm trying to tell it down. I've got to tell it down. Let me do it. My son has not done anything. So, one minute. Oh. Oh, it turned down. It's your phone. My son is not doing anything to harm me. We cry our eyes out every day because of all that they, we're being put through. We're putting every, through everything that's bad, and then nobody giving us any of the good help that we should have. What the hell more have we got to do to get people to actually help us? Papers don't take notice unless he goes and kills somebody. They won't take notice of me unless I say my son's hurt me, which he hasn't. Yes, we cry. We cry it every day. We try to find out what can we try to do now, Matt. Alan says, what can we do? And I'm saying, I don't know, son. I think we've been to everybody we should go to. And they're not doing anything to help us still. Next door neighbours are being right horrible people. They're just goading. They know very well Alan's in a bad way and I'm in a bad way. He even told the neighbour next door that I was trying to kill myself. And he heard it say to somebody, it's all right, he's just said his mother's trying to kill himself when she was speaking on the phone. I was feeling very desperate and I thought the only way that I'm going to get any help is if I die. So I wouldn't eat all day or take my medication. But I came out of that because I realised that's not going to work. It's not my blood you're after, it's my son's and we know that. You're a horrible lot if you don't take notice and say that you're going to do something to help us. Not this stupid sending the police. Making us look as if we're criminals and we're not criminals. We're just begging for the rights that we're supposed to be able to have. I can't get my care because they say my son is being aggressive in his talking. He's got Asperger's. That's part of Asperger's syndrome. I shot them. <laughs> Yes, so? there's my son's card. You can't sit she very well. to the police and everybody, but nobody takes any notice. Well, I, I think they do know, but they're manipulating us and they're pressing my button. They know how to give me an autistic breakdown. Same as the back of police at Canterbury Police Station. That was sticking in. I had to drink toilet water. I had no doctor. I had no solicitor. Um, they took a oh, this little short little bastard, took out my pillow, my blanket, he took away the police, the police code of conduct book off me, um, they took somebody into being my appropriate adult, um, and then when I went back on the 30th, so much more, on the 30th, the whole thing was set up. They refused to let my mum be my appropriate adult, they made a wait in the police waiting room, mum got ambushed by a woman called, um, Bronwyn. Sorry. Bronwyn something. Yeah, Bronwyn, an Italian name, Stronati. She was a social worker that refused to put anything down in writing. We're being mucked about by dimension, yeah, badly. Mum didn't have um, a shower for one month because when she came out of hospital, everything was put in place. And then I uh, made a complaint, yeah, and they stopped it. Yeah, Mum had no care whatsoever. Yeah, you're a bastard for that. You're the one doing the vulnerable adult abuse. You're the one ignoring the Equality Act. 
public sector due to uh, European Convention of Human and Disability Rights, yeah? We're the ones being set up, yeah. Uh, but I better end now, but I'm getting upset again. Um, anything you want to say before I go? No, for goodness sake, pull your socks up and do the right thing for us. Don't keep trying to make out that we're bad people. We're not. Neither of us is a bad person. But we are suffering terribly. Yeah. So please do something. Yeah, and another sick one is that uh, Ailsham police officer. Um, you know, um, you can't came to my came to my mum's house last year. Let's not forget South Yorkshire police, by the way. Uh, constant harassment and intimidation from the police. Uh, and I don't even have a doctor. This is highly against the law. Fifteen years out of St Vincent, yeah. Cut for making a complaint. Even yeah? though he knew that you'd got the aspergers, he'd, yeah. he'd been informed and got all the paperwork through yeah. from the specialist, and mm. he still took my son's name off the list. No, ripped out my document saying I'm retired and death at four and five. That really happened, yeah. I say my doctor ripped them out. Mum will concede them missing, but the doctor refused to resend them. Too scared and too ill or whatever to go back to um, Doncaster. There's major corruption with Kent Police, Canterbury Police, Dover Police, South Yorkshire Police. Oh, uh, God, so many of you. N nearly every time Mum and I go out, a, a car, cop police car mysteriously popped up out of nowhere most of the time. Would you agree with that, Mum? Yes, very, very, more often than I would normally see, yes. Yes. And one of them, haha, seeing as we're doing this, yeah, yeah, um, Rep, Rep, my, Rep, Reverend Mark Connor, the man that cremated my dad in 2009, you're the sick one. I want to show you something, because I started writing things down on the calendar, and, um, hold on, oh yeah, Canterbury Police harassment again, oh yeah, we've been blocked by 30 solicitors, um, and I know next door abusing that new Fiona's law, which we, Mum and I, are the legally disabled ones, we're the vulnerable adults. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Even this new woman, Pam, there's something wrong about that. Something very wrong. Uh, when was that? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, 15th of Tuesday, Bastard Bob Kirby, the beacon with female colleagues. Last week, Kirby, the local personal council man, David Bish, came round. Community, uh, community. Well, yeah, it, to, in that respect, all he's seen concerned is finding out this house belonged to mum or not, so that they could maybe take down the help sign. So, bad luck, this is my mum's house. Um, but this was last Friday, and it's the 28th of June now. Nothing's been done, we're hoping to hear from something. But this is major corruption with social services, autism teams, adult learning disability teams, the county court, um, Shepherd Employment Tribunal, they owe me £2.4 million. Pounds. Yeah, if a non disabled can have double what I was on and get £4 million, why shouldn't I get half of that? Yeah? And there's actual judges breaking the law. I want to show you because of cop car. When I was on my bike, about a week, on Dartford Bridge, somebody in a black car threw out a, a, um, a piece of wood, a plank, yeah? I had a car vehicle to my side, so I couldn't manoeuvre, I couldn't do an emergency brake him, I had to go over it. So I was very lucky I survived. But a police car... Uh, a police... Where was it? Might have been March. I'm putting this down. This is how serious the police intimidation is. Uh, what are you looking for, Alan? March. March. I've got the date that I had to swerve to avoid that police car and he followed us to Dorman Avenue North. Uh, is it down there? Um, no, okay, but so it'd be March, April. Mum's date. Mum's date. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, we had two visits from Rev Coleman. Oh yeah, Sunday the 22nd of April. Cop car caused me to swerve 
then follow Mum and I to Mum's Road. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Um, there's one more thing I want to say. What's my memory like? But that's good. I'm just going to pause this for a second. Hello again, and it's the community intermediate care team that are supposed to look after my mum. They are corrupt as hell, breaking every law going as well. Uh, this is Doncaster Intermediate Care Team and Dover Ashford. What they've started doing is not put things down in writing, so it's very hard to locate where they actually are. But obviously so much has happened to my mum and I in the last few years. But this is why I know it's all set up. In Doncaster, February, Mum's Care, sorry, uh, one day, right to 12 actually, Mum's Care and Lawfully Stop 12, three Doncaster Police and two cars, 13th, two Ardash men, health bastards and the were bastards, 14th. Um, oh, I don't know. If that's not all planned, what is? Yeah. If that's not harassment by police and all the other people with it, not trying to help us, trying to cause us harm by the looks of things, because they've not helped me after I had my heart attack. They've not helped me after I've come out of the hospital this time either. The intermediate care said they can't come to the house because Alan speaks aggressively. This, he's, he's got Asperger's. He will be aggressive. I'm getting aggressive and I haven't got Asperger's. I'm just getting so very angry at all that's going on. And I think you people that are sending the police here are evil. Evil, evil, evil. Back God help you. you. Yeah, see, I'm not hurting my mum, but it's you. I think you, you, a lot of you hoped mum has passed away by now, so you can twist everything. Don't forget my YouTube police video has been taken down that proves what the police were doing. Um, I was supposed to have an Asperger support worker by the bastards Andy Waterworth, um, Doncaster Community Adult Learning Disability Team. They did pretend there was the autism team for a little while, and it should have been people like Ruth Griffith and... Um, Michelle Bayer, they're the Asperger's nurses, and they've been moved. Severe corruption with the NHS uh, under people like Christine Bodwell, um, Powell's Nicole Arkdell, a bastard called Angus McKnight, a very sick man. He admitted in 2010 I'd been very, very badly treated. But if I um, drop complaints, then all the services will happen. But I've been too badly hurt at that point. And there's so many charities indeed. So I think that's enough of the rant. Oh, these solicitors are corrupt. BK, when Mum came back with me for my bail thing, um, this solicitor, I don't think it's his real name really, Brian Adcock, he was an ignorant bastard. They said that it was him instead of this Kerry, and Brian Adcock was a very good disability person. Wrong. He, he, he knew social services were going to ambush my mum in the waiting room because he refused outright for my mum to come in. But even the BSL interpreters like, well, why don't you at least ask to him? And, and uh, so much is wrong. So much. Um, I'm going to go now. But, um, yeah, it's what's happening to us. And so many of you are the ones that should be arrested. You're the ones that should be sacked. Mum and I should be millionaires in compensation for everything that's happening to us. It's sick. All right? Bye. Okay, Mum? You said bye. Yes, goodbye. And I hope you don't sleep very well. <laughs>